I have no idea what to wear. It's so cold and it's just, I'm freezing. I can't leave the heater and we don't have like a central heater here because it's in the south. It doesn't normally get so cold. And then I have this small electric uh, electronic thing here and I can't just step away from here. It's just so cold. I am literally freezing 24-7. The sweater is just killing me. I wish I could go back to the north. Anyways, today's video is a haul video. I had a lot to tell you. I don't know. I wanted to say a lot of things and I just forgot. This is so weird. But anyways, this oh, I almost forgot. Today's video is going to be a favorite. Did I say haul? No, it's not a haul. It's a current favorite video and yeah, I'm just going to tell you what's my favorite recently and yeah, because I've never done a favorite and I don't think um, I am resourceful enough to give you like every month favorite because I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to do that because I don't purchase a lot of new products every month. I only purchase new product like once in a long time because I'm not like very you know I don't want to spend that much of money. I'm still a student. I can however do a current favorites once in a while once um anytime i feel like i have enough new favorite thing to talk about i will do that so this is what we're gonna do here um i'm going to update you guys with my favorite once in a while whenever i feel like i have enough things to you know update you so if you want to know my what my current favorite are just keep watching and yeah let's start this let's start with makeup products um maybe brushes because that's I have most brushes to talk about I'm gonna tell you what's my favorite brushes recently um currently let's say for face brushes I talked about this one in my here the background is too black I talked about this one in my haul video and I, I I love it so much I freaking love this brush this is the it cosmetics velvet Lux. LBD powder brush zero oh sorry three zero seven I crap I freaking love this brush it's so soft and it's also so black that you can you can see so clearly how much product you pick up I use this one to um, take my Laura Mercier loose powder or translucent powder or even um, my Bobbi Brown um, compact powder just to set my face with this brush it's just so freaking soft and it's synthetic hair but this is like the softest synthetic hair I've ever seen I, I don't see a lot of people talking about this brush maybe it's old maybe it's not new but I really think people should talk about this more because they're just so good it's just so freaking freaking soft and I love how big is it to set my face it's just so quick and one of the, my favorite part about this is just you could actually see how much product you pick up with this brush it just I freaking love this brush and it's um affordable price I love love this brush you, ha you have to get this one for like a whole face setting if you don't have a good one and definitely go to, to get this one it's just so good I don't know why nobody talks about it okay next one um next two Zueva brushes one is this is not the one. One is this um, Lux Face Definer Brush 101. I, I know a lot of people know Zoeva brushes, but I love this one for um, contouring and bronze up my face. I actually got this one to bronze up my face for bronzing my face, like underneath my jawline and around my forehead. But I actually found a really, really good contour um, here, my cheekbones, because it's it's big enough but not so big and it gives you a really soft um, contour here I love it for this because um, I am always looking for like a better a good brush to contour but every time it's either the line is too harsh or it's just the brush is too big to give you like a really um, precise but natural um, contour it's either too harsh or just not precise enough but this one is just in between it's perfect it's just um precise enough but not no harsh line i love this one for um contouring my cheekbones and i also use this to bronze up my face all the time it's just generally a really really good brush i love it and so ever brushes is very affordable very um reasonable price and i love them and i also talked about this um luxe highlight brush before um this is just generally very 
nice brush to highlight my forehead, my um, chin, and even my nose bridge. And I also use this one to highlight my cheekbones. Not today though. Um, I like the thing. The, the thing I love about Zoeva brushes is how soft they are. They're synthetic and also animal here together. And I think it's just a very good idea. It's um, the technology is very nice, and I love how it feels. It's just so freaking soft. I love how it feels on my skin, and definitely try out as a way of brushes. I know a lot of people talked about it, but I just I, I can't emphasize enough how much I like them. And then next one is um, the Sigma Large Angle Contour F40 brush. I got this one because I was looking, like I said, I I was always looking for good contour brush, and I saw this one. This is like an angle brush. I saw this angle brush and I thought this might be good to contour. But then I found, if you can see here, the tip of this brush is, is thinner down here and then it gets fluffier up there. It's just too fluffy. The space here is too much. It's not like this. If you, I mean, if you press it like this, you can definitely contour with this brush. But if you don't do anything with it, it's just too fluffy up there, and you can you can barely. I mean, you can probably do that, but I just found it. It's not very. I don't feel very comfortable using this one to contour my cheekbones, and I found it really good for blusher. Then I figure out it's very good for um, doing my blush because I always um, I only had the bubble rum blush brush before and I really didn't like that one for putting on blushy, um, putting on blush. But this one is very good because I like one thing I liked about it is um, when you press it to your face, it's just like a perfect when you press it to your cheek cheek here. It's just the perfect area for you to apply your blusher. Just when you press, this is where you need to put up, put on your blush. It's just exactly what I need. And then if I turn this side downward, it's I go this way. If I turn it upward, like the longer side upward, and it's I just go like this direction. If I turn it this downward, I go this direction. It's just generally it apply your blush so precisely. This is why I like it. It's so it apply it applies my blush so precise, so precisely. I can't talk today. Very precisely because this is exactly what I want my brush to be. And because for um, most of the Asian style makeup, they love they usually prefer apply your blusher here instead of here. But I love my blusher to be closer to my hairline because that way it gives me more of a contour look and I have more dimension on my face, that's why I like, that's what I prefer. But um, Asian girls, they tend to apply blusher here, um, on the apple of their cheek. Um, that's not, it's a, another style, it's, I'm not saying it's worse or anything, it's just another choice, and that's not my style, I just don't prefer that one. And whoever prefers it, it's totally reasonable. And I think the Bobbi Brown blush brush, it's more for applying br um, blush here. It's easier to apply blush around he around here. Um, you just dab it there. But this one is perfect to if you like your um, blush closer to your hairline, like here. This part gives you more of a contour look. I love this brush, um, the Sigma Large Angle Contour Brush to apply my blusher. I absolutely love this one. I've been using this one to contour my um, to put on my blusher ever since I got it. Love this one and not very expensive either so i really like this one and last two brushes i want to talk um i got this one this is about brown eye blender brush i got this one because I, I i got this one because i thought this would be good for me to contour my nose i was looking for another new um brush to contour my nose because the one i had was wasn't really what i wanted but i thought this one was was, was going to be good for contouring my nose but then i when i got it in my hand i was like I don't think it is a good idea to contour my nose with this one because it's just so um it's too fluffy the tip of it is too round and big and fluffy i don't think it's a good size to contour my nose it's just the tip of it is too too much and it, i i mean i can definitely contour with this one i just never try because yeah i can definitely do that I would do it. I would. I will use this one to contour. But I haven't used this one to contour my nose. That's because I found this one very good for putting on my highlighter. I've been using this thing to 
highlighted my cheekbones and my chin ever since I got it I haven't even used this one to contour because I have been using this one to highlight so much it's just it's the perfect size I just split my saliva that's very elegant it's just a perfect size to contour um sorry to highlight your cheekbones it, just my cheekbones at least it's just perfect it just gives you like very very strong highlight on your cheekbones not like too much but very just exactly what I want on my cheekbone I've been using this one to highlight my cheekbone ever since I got it it's just perfect perfect brush to highlight my cheekbones I love this one to highlight my cheekbones and also my chin also but I don't use this one to highlight my forehead because it's too small but I absolutely love this brush and I think it's a very multifunctional brush you can highlight your cheekbones and also you can use this to contour your nose and I really really like this one I also used it to um, highlight my cubic bow today love this one to highlight and it's actually a eye blender brush but I really think it's very good for highlighting if you I think it's not gonna be a good brush for me to use on my eyes because I have very Asian eyes but it's gonna be good if you have deep set eyes so multifunctional love this brush love this this must be my favorite brush from Bobby Brown it has to be is this one um, mine is I don't know how I did this it's kind of broken it's the um, Sigma 3d HD precision brush I got this one to I thought this one would be good to um, blend out my concealer and then I found it really good to blend down my cream contour on my nose because I was also always looking for better brushes to you know blend out my cream contour on my nose because I used to use the beauty blender to blend my cream contour on my nose but the beauty blender is just too big and it's not what I want it's it's not what I want it's it's gonna spread the cream contour all over my nose and I really didn't like it so when I got this brush I was trying like trying to blend out my under eye concealer because this, this is what I want it to be but I found it too small for blending out concealer it's gonna take too long too much time and I was like maybe I can use this to blend out my cream contour on my nose and it's perfect it has this interesting um, triangular design and it's just I use this one side of it each side either side of it to blend out a concealer and you just like it it's just perfect to blend out my concealer, um, my cream contour on my nose. It's very, very good brush to do the job, and I love this one. And it's cute pink, but I don't know why. I think it's just the the paint part of this brush is splitting. I don't know. Please don't don't be broke. My favorite all time favorite so far. I haven't tried like ton crap ton of foundation, but this one. Is absolutely I know I will like it till I die I will love this one this one will be forever my top five foundation if I ever try more foundation this is the uh, makeup forever HD ultra HD foundation and my color is 110 sorry no 118 it's exactly one thing I like about it is exactly my skin color it's just it's no there's no difference whatsoever between this color and my skin it's just exactly the same color and I was so surprised I was like oh my god did I just found did I just found a foundation that's exactly my skin color I was really really shocked and I like the color and I don't think I even need to say how like how good this is full coverage and medium to full coverage coverage and doesn't you absolutely matte finish and you don't see anything on your face after you put it on your face it's just perfect finishing and just everything this this is life this is if you are looking for a good full coverage foundation just look for no more this one go get this one this is i love this one freaking love this makeup forever hd ultra hd foundation love it and then two more um i really like the milani um baked powder blush in luminoso it's a um, really nice peachy and orange color i got this one I you've seen it before in my video but it just I love this one I one thing I really like this about this blush is that you can actually wear this blush without any other makeup there's one day I was hurrying going out and I didn't like how I looked that day without any makeup it just I looked really tired and I feel like I really need something on my face some color to 
bring light back to my face and I put on this and I spent like 30 seconds take some I took some of this blusher and then I put on my cheeks and I just very natural and it just I look much better with this blush and it's, it's also very good when you don't have any other makeup on your face so I really it was I was really surprised how well it turned out on my face even if I didn't have any make, makeup on my face so this is very good for with or without makeup and it makes you feel really young it's because I think it's the orange tone inside I really really like this blush for um, when you want a more of a casual um, young look and I really like this blush it's very pigmented and super affordable price so love this blush and then the next um, blush or contour wise product it's this one I can't oh my god I can't tell you how much I love this one I just I'm so glad I saw this one because this is not in my plan I didn't even know this thing and I was getting my audacious lips lipsticks in a NAR store and it a girl asked me if I want to check this out and I say okay maybe and then she said there is look at this um she said there's Laguna and then when I heard Laguna I was like I'll take it I'll take it. I don't care what the other things is they look good but if there's no Laguna I'm gonna take it because I know this is gonna be a very good deal if you get a palette like this it's just like one blush full-size blush is very from NARS is very pricey but this one is I don't remember the price but it's such a good deal you get you get Laguna um, Paloma highlight and contour Laguna bronzer and then you have Dolce Vita luster um, blasphemy and robotic for four blushers it's just I love all of these colors it's just I I don't know this is my life this is this I think I'm gonna marry this palette it's just how much I love it it's just so freaking good i everything inside i like every part of this blusher and of this palette palette and what's the odd you found a palette that you like everything in it it's very rare so i think this if you're looking for your future husband i think this is my future husband because i like everything about it it's just so crazy and i this is limited edition i think and uh, if you kind of bad to talk about this but if you ever see it again, just get it because it's so good, such a good price and very, very good color. I think I don't need any more bronzer or blusher for my, the rest of my life if I have this palette. This is how much I love it. This is how good this is. Um, this Laura Mercier translucent powder. I got it, I don't know, three months ago? Everyone has it. Everyone has it, but I only got it three months ago. And oh my god, this is very pricey. I was like really really pricey but it goes on your face like a dream it's just if you have this one to finish every time when I use this one to finish my makeup to set my whole face makeup I just feel like I look like you look like a dream your face look like a dream it's it's just what you look like in heaven because you have that very um, steamy foggy layer on your face you don't look real in the mirror when you have this on it's just love this thing but it's so expensive I don't I only use it when I have like some more special to go I don't use it every day because this is this is pricey and next um, I have a lot of most of it are makeup product next is um, let's hurry up this I want to talk about this one um, the La palette nude from L'Oreal mm -hmm. and the color is Jose and I talked about it in my haul and I liked it at the beginning because I thought the quality of these shadows are pretty nice but then the more I use them the more I don't like them because I just feel like they're not pigmented enough what I use the most from this palette but now I look at it I actually use quite a lot um, I use the matte natural neutral color of maybe this this and this one the most to as transition color when I do my eye makeup and I haven't really used the these three or this one at all because they're like shimmery color and deeper color but they're not as pigmented so I didn't use them that as often I use the matte um, neutral color this and these two quite a lot as transition color and because they're not so pigmented so that which make them better transition color for your eyes so I like to use those as transition color it's actually pretty good and today 
actually I only figured out it today. I actually really I when I swatched these two color at first when I got this like these two when I swatched them on my on my uh, on my hand the back of my hand I I was thinking these are actually the most pigmented um, shadows in all uh, in this whole palette. They're very shimmery on your um, swatching on your fingers. This is how I look like. They're very, very freaking pigmented. These are the very, these are very pigmented. Wow, yeah. And I was, I was thinking they're very pigmented. And today, when I was doing my makeup, I was like, maybe I can use these two too as cheekbone highlighting. And I did. And look at it. I absolutely love it. Because I only have two highlighter. I have my Laura, Laura Mercier highlighter, which is very um, fine champagne. Um, big um, big powder and then I have my mirror luminizer which is a very strong gold um, highlighter I love that one also and I also have the Bobbi Brown shimmer break which is very very gold and very um, lava room kind of effect but then I feel I don't I don't have any champagne or pink color side highlighter and I was thinking maybe I can use this too as a highlighter and I did in this as a cheek highlighter. I mix them together and it's just... I love it. I freaking love these two shadows as highlighter and I'm so glad I found it because I don't... I was thinking about giving this away because I didn't like this palette that much anymore. I was seriously thinking about giving this away and then I found that two shadows shimmery color perfect for highlighting so I'm gonna keep this one because just for those two shadows because it's just amazing freaking amazing. Look at that highlighter and the pink one gives your cheeks like more even better effect it combines like it mix together with my blusher so i freaking love this these those two um shimmer color as highlighter i'm i'm just gonna keep this palette just for those colors I freaking love it if you i mean if you have like this is not expensive at all this is like a pretty good price palette I definitely recommend it because even if you don't like the rest of them, those two colors are really good for highlighting. I love them. I freaking love them. And I'm so glad I found better use for this palette. I'm so smart. The next few products for your eyes. Um, this I need to... You, you see me use this uh, mascara in my tutorial all the freaking time. This is the Kiss Me Mascara Heroin Make Super Waterproof volume and curl mascara i love this one this is the only mascara that keeps my eyelashes curl curly all the day from 7 in the morning to 12 at night this is how great it is because it's also waterproof so it just holds my mascara so curly all day long i love this one and it's it's just freaking good i it's very it's only a I don't know maybe 10 or 12 dollars and it's so cheap it's from japan and i don't i don't think people talk about it enough from like just people really need to know about this mascara it's so so freaking good and so affordable it just because i have really asian lash lashes and people if you are like a caucasian you wouldn't know you wouldn't know how my pain because asian mm -hmm. if you have asian lashes it just it goes straight down there. It's not curly. It's not curly at all. It just goes straight down there. And most of the time, whatever mascara I use, I curl it with a eyelashes curler. And at the maybe two hours later, my lashes are just like straight again. It's freaking annoying, but this one holds my curl all day long, all freaking day long. And it's just, it's a very different texture. Um, the formula is very interesting. It's more oily. It's very oily. It's not like most of the mascara looks very cream consistency. The consistency is very different. And this one is more like an oil kind of thing and pretty oily and liquidy side. And But I really, really like it. It just holds my curl all day long. And if you are Asian, you also have the same problem. You should definitely try this one. Love this one. Kiss Me Mascara. Um, it's this um, K Palette One Day Tattoo Real Lasting Eyeliner 24 Hours. You've seen it in my tutorials for so many times also they have different colors i have a dark brown and i have a more of a black one but both of them are really really good i like the tip of it 
um, I think it's brush head and I love how pigmented they are they are so black so dark and very easy to control this is like my favorite 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 eyeliner it's just so easy to control for me and it's lasts for quite a long time it's so black and it's oh what what most important thing about this it's one day tattoo it's actually stays on your skin like a tattoo because i have really really annoying freaking annoying oily eyelids or my whole face is oily i just no matter what kinds of eyeliner i use it will always smudge the only combination i have that stays on my eyelids the best is this one and the bobby brown gel eyeliner i use this one to draw my wing eyeliner all the time and i also use the bobby brown one gel eyeliner to um fill in my waterline that's um that's one thing i really need to people to know because if you have really uh, oily eye eyelids the bobby brown gel eyeliner is the perfect one to fill in your eye, uh, waterline because i don't know is that just me or people who had oily eyelids um whatever what whatever kind of um gel eyeliner or eye pencil i use to fill in my um waterline it will smudge like a crazy maniac it will smudge like in one hour and it just freaks me out it's just pissed me off so much but the only thing that doesn't smudge in my waterline is the bobby brown the gel eyeliner um yeah and i love that and i also love this one this one also stays on my eyelids so freaking well and when you use a makeup remover eye makeup remover to um take it down it's so easy to take it out it's just one swipe or two it's gone but if you don't use anything to take it out it just stays here for forever and i love this one it's so freaking affordable this is also like 12 dollars maybe and i think it's such a good price and people really really need to know more about these two eye products um this one day tattoo eyeliner it's so freaking good i i love it i freaking love it next two thing is this is the um daiso eyebrow coat it looks like a um nail polish the packaging is just like a nail polish but it's actually an eyebrow coat it's not the best applicator um because it's just like a nail polish brush and sometimes you can get a little bit too much on your eyebrow and it will smudge but as long as you be careful um take less products than you think you need and it will be totally fine and it actually sets my brows all day because i have really oily skin if i don't use this one to set my um eyebrow it will my eyebrow the end of my eyebrow will smudge definitely smudge in the beginning of my eyebrow because they are um, not what my eyebrows usually look like. This part I drew it, and this part I drew it. And if I don't use this one to set it, um, they will smudge like a crazy maniac. And crazy maniac, is that even a thing? But, so I use this one to set them all the time. I know there are like drugstore or high-end brand for eyebrow gel, but I have never seen people use this one in a tutorial. And I think it deserves more attention because this one is like, what? two bucks yeah less than two bucks i think it's so freaking cheap and it lasts for so long i've been using this one for more than a year i think it just lasts for so long and it's freaking cheap and it keeps my brow makeup all freaking day and it's so good it's just the applicator is not the best but i i don't have any problem with it i just like swipe it all over my um eyebrow and i also maybe if you feel like you need to get in your hair a little bit more you just use this bully to go over again I just freaking love this thing it lasts so long and it's just I still have so much after a year and I really think it need, deserves more attention and people need to go get it and try it so so freaking cheap and I don't think you need to spend money more money on the other eyebrow gel but of course whatever you want but I really think you should try it it's so freaking affordable and so good quality and then the next last makeup product uh, maybe not the last favorite um favorite lipstick so far i it's, it's i don't have much left that's freaking sad i need a new one this one this is the nars audacious lipsticks jane freaking love this color this color is my right or die if i can only choose one one lipstick to live with i'll choose this one because this is life 
You know how much I love the NARS products. You know how much I love the NARS Audacious lipsticks. They are the best freaking lipstick in the world. I feel like I tend to curse when I'm doing my favorite because just that is how much I love these products. So anyways, the Audacious lipsticks are freaking, freaking, freaking amazing. I don't think you should ever spend so much money to buy a Chanel lipstick because they're just Chanel. They are Chanel, but the quality, the products is not as good. And if you ever spend that much money to buy a lipstick, go grab the Audacious lipstick. Don't spend it on Chanel or don't spend it on Dior or YSL. Just grab this Audacious lipstick. And they're so freaking, freaking good. Best formula ever. They're not drying at all. They're um, demi matte finish, not drying at all, and it stays on your lips. And one best best thing about this these audacious lip lipsticks is that every time if you have ever tried matte, Mac matte lipsticks, you will know how painful it is at the middle of the day. In the middle of the day, when you try to um, touch up your lips. If you use matte lipsticks, it will be very difficult to apply a second layer on it because it's just so freaking dry on your lips. But this one, no matter how long you, it's been, like maybe you put on your first um, layer of this lipstick at 7 o'clock in the morning, no matter how long it's been, it's never dry. Your lips is, are never dry. And even if you are trying to touch up your lips, maybe 10 hours later, it's never dry. It goes on the second layer of this lipstick goes on your lips perfect like the first time you ever put this on your lips it's just i can't tell you how much i love the formula from of the audacious lipsticks and i can't tell you how much i love this color it's a orange coral and red combination i just this is the perfect color for me it just brings out so much on me it just it just i, I don't know how much I don't know how how I can tell you how much this how awesome this thing is. This Jane color is just I believe that in maybe in every girl's life you were bound to find a lip color that's perfect for me and I think this is it. This is my future husband. This is the one. I know it. The Jane is the one. This is I, I'm running out. This the amount of this product in the tube right now it's driving me crazy every day when i think of how much jane i have left in my tube i just i freak out because i freaking love this one i need 10 in my bag so i can keep calm really this is how much i love it and i've heard that i've seen people saying that um if you have yellow toned skin it's this one is not a perfect color for you because it will bring out more yellow but i don't think so because i have yellow toned skin but this one just brings out the best part of me. It just makes me look the best. It's so flattering for me and just I freaking freaking love the Jane from Nars Audacious Lipsticks. It's it's my life. Almost done. Almost done. Before it it gets darker, let's finish this one. Next, this OPI Passport to Color. I got this one in a path um in an airport because apparently I think that's the only place you can get it. Maybe not. No, I think you can get it somewhere else. But I got it in an airport. I've been wanting this for so long, but you can only get it for international flight. If you have like domestic flight, you, you can't get it because um, it's only in duty-free store. But anyways, I freaking love every color in it, but I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of this one because this is just too pink for me. I don't like pink nail polish. This one, I uh, love it because you know me, I love like these kind of wine burgundy deep dark red is my favorite nail polish color and this one is a purple but it looks almost almost like black and i think it will be really good for summer for your um toes when you're wearing a strip um heels i think it will be really good for summer and i love this one for my hands and i actually i was really surprised the, my favorite one is this one um i think this is um tickle my friends e i love freaking love this color it's just a very perfect nude i freaking freaking love that color it's um tickle my friends e and i also like this one this is a just a very very uh, skin tone nude it's called passion 
It's a, just a very classic nude. It doesn't even look like you have any nail polish on if you wear this one. It's just so pink. It's just like your flesh color on your nails. But I freaking love the Tickle My Frenzy. I generally love all of these and I like the fact they're so small because I can never finish one bottle of nail polish. Never. Ever. And these are just... I love almost every color of them. I might... I mean, if it is not for collection, I would give this away, but I just like them all in the box. Another nail polish. This one. This is the Sally Hansen Double Duty Top and Base Coat. Freaking love this one because I have tried the OPI Top Coat, but my nail polish chips the second day or the third day still, even if I use the OPI one. But this one, it gives you like a really, really gel finish of nail polish. It's I love the finish of it. It looks like gel, nail gel. And it keeps, keeps my nail polish on my nails for so long, longer than I've ever tried. It keeps my nail polish on for maybe four or five days. That's a long time for me because I don't take care of my nails at all and it's just perfect it's also i the, the other thing i love about it is double duty it's also base coat and top coat and i do not wear nail polish every day i don't i wear it like maybe once or twice in a month or less even i don't sometimes i just don't have nail polish on my nails forever because i do rock climbing and i also play the piano and i just i have to trim my nails every two days otherwise it just drives me crazy the longer nails and i just and I don't put on nail polish all the time and so this like double duty thing is perfect for me. I don't want to get like two bottles of it, top and bottom, a base coat and it's just, I freaking love this one. Super affordable price and I, it, the size is very big and I like the brush of this um, nail polish. Love it. And the last few thing, um, I have this, this is a I got my new iPhone a few months ago and I was looking for a um, new phone case so I found these online and I just got them because I've never had something so feminine like this because I always have like what I'm currently using is not these two this is what my here let me show you this is what my sister got me this is the um, Star World one it's very cute I like the graffiti on it um, my sister gave it to me, so I'm using it. Um, but I saw these online and just I, I really liked them. It, it's very elegant. I love the flowers. It's just I love the design and these are just two different kinds. This one is transparent. It's very thinner and this one is very interesting thing about it. It's two part of it. It's um, and it gives you more of a protection and um, one thing this is and this part is harder this one is softer the black part is soft and then this part is plastic um very hard surface but one thing you need to know is um you get scratches on it you can't see it like here you can't see an out but when you have like reflection you will see scratches maybe maybe not in the camera but you will have scratches but if you don't look very close to it you won't see it and i absolutely love the color love the design and i really like this one last thing last thing i want to my favorite book on my kindle um norwegian woods it's just it's not an exciting not an exciting story it's not like you have to finish it one day but it just makes me feel so calm when i'm reading this book when i'm reading the norwegian woods it just i feel like i feel exactly the same as what people think in this book just there are lots of sentences from this book i feel like oh it's exactly what i think and i just highlight them it's just a book generally tells your story it's just speaking for you and i love those kind of books it's just amazing how many books there are outside that just tells exactly what you want to say but you don't normally can't think of a way to say it but the book actually says tells the story it's just amazing how it works like that and Norwegian Woods is one of those books and I think I really like it I really like this book it's um very calming very kind of deep and it kind of 
it's kind of also very depressing because it makes you feel like this is life and sometimes we can't change a bit of it it's kind of depressing but i it's not like deadly depressing and gonna make you want to go die really realistic and very in a very very elegant way i would say i incredibly freaking love this book and it's so nice i think that's everything let me just check one time one more time that's everything yeah that's basically everything for my today's current favorite um i want to thank you guys and one 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 more my favorite thing one of my favorite thing one other favorite thing is you guys whoever is watching this video with a open heart and mind whoever comments my videos before you guys are the greatest support you guys remind me i actually have subscriber i actually have audience and i freaking love it and i just want to thank you guys so much for supporting me for watching my videos and this is the first favorite video and i really really i'm just really grateful thank you guys so much for watching all of my videos and thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope you enjoy and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye-bye.